lot of you want to know how did I do it and today I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Gracie and I'm a sophomore at the University of Alabama. If you're new here, you might not know that this summer I spent my whole time abroad in Belgium as an au pair for wonderful host family. I love them so much and I think I'm actually gonna be seeing them after I do my study abroad on semester at see you next semester. So it really just makes me smile so much that um, we both had such an impact on each other, me to my host family, my host family to me that we just wanna continue our relationship and being able to see the kids and see my host parents in person, which is so sweet. Um, but because I had such an amazing relationship and such an awesome experience abroad this summer. Y'all ask so many questions and I love getting all the questions and I thought it'd be best to sit down here and answer them for you. This video is sponsored by AuPairWorld.com. AuPairWorld.com is actually the agency that allowed me to meet my host family. So I am forever grateful to them because without the Au World website, I would not have been an au pair. Basically today I'm gonna sit here and talk you through the steps of becoming an au pair. A lot of you want to know how did I do it? And today I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Um, so it was pretty simple. Um, and that's why I'm gonna bring you along today. So the first thing I did was decide to become an au pair. I was inspired by my sister Hannah, who had just found a wonderful host family in Switzerland, and she was gonna be spending an entire year there, starting at the end of July. And I was like, oh my goodness, wait, that sounds really cool. You're getting paid to go over to Europe and babysit some kids, and then on your time off, you get to go travel the world? Hello? Like what? That sounds amazing. Let me sign up. So she told me I used AuPairWorld.com and I was like, great, I'm going on AuPairWorld.com. So I went on AuPairWorld.com's website and I set up a profile. It's pretty easy and I'm going to walk you through the steps. All right, so I have the Pair World website pulled up right next to me on my laptop and I'm going to go through it and make basically another account and show you guys how to do it. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. I just got an email from TripAdvisor about top Alken restaurants. Alken is the small town that I was in this summer in Belgium. How strange is that? I'm literally sitting down here to film a video and just got an email about restaurants in Alken. That makes me so sad. <laughs> so here I am on the Au Pair World website. So you can see it says ready for your adventure, organize your Au Pair stay simply and easily with Au Pair World. And you can see um, basically all of their statistics on here, 3 million plus users, 13,000 plus active families, 80,000 plus Au Pair stays per year, 100% check profiles, 20 years in business. Um, and then it'll tell you what exactly is an au pair. As an au pair is a young person between the ages of 18 and 30, single, without children, who travels to a foreign country for a defined period of time to live with a host family. You take on the role as a member of the family and help your host family with childcare and light housework. In return, you receive free room and board plus pocket money. And so you can show this is how it works. Create a profile, find a host family, make contact, agree on a contract, and get ready to go and you have all of these things here so i'm just going to click this button that says register for free and it's going to bring you to this page that you fill in your about you so obviously my first name is gracie and then my last name is of course o'connor and um, you can put in your date of birth whoa that's the day um i my birthday is february 26th wow fun facts um and i am a female then of course you're going to fill in all of your contact details here and your more about you um all of these options if you have child care experience valid driver's license if you smoke if you're vegetarian and then of course your language skills creating a password a security question and agreeing your terms of service after you do all of that you can search on there for a host family and get looking Truly, it is that easy to set up an account and find your host family. Of course, once you get in the account, you are going to have to look to where you maybe want to stay, find your host family, and get in contact with them like all those instructions said, and just talk it through with them. I can also link the video down below where I told you about sort of my everyday au pair life, so you can sort of see what it was like a little bit. Of course, it varies depending on what you're doing, but that is the basis of it and how to become one, and it's 
super simple because once you get in there and talk to your host family, you can find the requirements, if they're gonna pay for your flights, what your contract looks like for their specific country. I obviously can't give you that information. I can kind of tell you what happened with mine, but I did that in the video, so I'll link it down below and I'll put in the I button. Basically, that's it. That's how you become an au pair and have the best time of your life. And you can stay up to a year, which is crazy. Like, that's a very long time. It's how long my sister's staying in Switzerland. Oh, it's kind of scary. Again, thank you so much to AuPairWorld.com for sponsoring this video and being able to help you guys find your amazing host family and have a great time. I wish you all the best of luck if you are trying to become an au pair. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe down below. I love you guys so much and I will see you so soon. Ah! Love you. Bye.